I wanted to take a minute to go over last night's meeting and hit a couple of the high points, but really get into the nitty gritty of one particular agenda item. Last night was January 12th. It was the first meeting back from a break, the first regular meeting back. It was a four page agenda and it took four hours to get to executive session. Uh, things like loves ask for a sign variance. Uh, there was an annexed home that had asked for a special use permit to put up a 3,000 square foot outbuilding to cover their RV. Um, high density housing was uh, requested behind Kroger. A new gym was uh, asked to be constructed. 33 new one to four acre lots. Walmart asked for outdoor seasonal storage. But the big one for me was Treehouse Christian Learning Center where they re requested a 4B grant to offset the impact fees uh, from their new construction. 2021-028, consider and act upon a resolution authorizing a grant in the amount of $89,162 be awarded by the Midlothian Community Development Corporation, MCDC, or 4B, to the Treehouse Christian Learning Center, a nonprofit corporation, to fund the infrastructure costs and required impact fees for a not-for-profit Christian child care ministry to be constructed at 531 Blue Bonnet Lane, Midlothian, Texas. I see three things here that we need to talk about before we get to even what I think about it. Impact fees, 4B, and Trios Christian Learning Center. So let's get straight to it. Impact fees. According to the city's website, the state of Texas authorizes municipalities to access impact, assess impact fees upon new developments in order to finance the construction of capital improvements necessitated by those developments. The skinny of it is, if you're putting something up, some, something brand new, a development of free pa standing pad site, you're going to have an uh, infrastructure impact to the city. In order to offset those costs, the city charges an impact fee. They determine what your impact is by what you're building, where you're building it, and what kind of business you'll have. Child care facilities bear a larger burden as far as road impact fees are concerned because their road impacts will happen during peak traffic times already. So they could necessitate expansion of a of a road or some sort of capital improvement. This money cannot be used for repairs. It can't be used for resurfacing. It can't be used to repair a leaking main. It has to be used for road or water improvements to our system. That has to be really clear. What's the 4B then? I covered this in depth a couple years ago with Matt Martin. Uh, it was 30 to 40 minute video and I will link it on tiffanyformidlothian.com so that you can watch the whole thing if you'd like to, to get the full in-depth scoop on what 4A and 4B are. Real quick synopsis, in August of 1998, Midlothian voters voted to create a 4A and a 4B board for economic development and community development. And what that did was it took and it split off and gave half a percent of sales tax to a 4A board and half a percent of sales tax to a 4B board. The 4B board is a community development corporation. They have a very limited amount of things that they can use their money on. They can use their money on libraries, parks, police stations, things that enrich our community quality of life. To go on further, the, there was a there is a grant that they can do for nonprofits as long as our population is under 26,000. Until the census the 2020 census is certified, we still qualify to be able to approve those grants. As soon as the census is, is approved or uh, whatever we we can't do anything we we the grant opportunity disappears Trios Christian Learning Center from the packet 
Treehouse Christian Learning Center is a nonprofit ministry that was formed to take over the operation of the Midlothian Bible Church Child Care. Treehouse Christian Learning Center serves over 120 kids now and will continue to serve over 100 kids from 80 to 90 families if we are able to complete a new building and move. We employ 30 people and pay over $600,000 in wages in 2020. That's from page 221 in the packet for the meeting. So let's talk about these impact fees. We talked about road impact fees and how they are assessed based on traffic in and out of a facility and when that happens and what peak traffic times look like on that road anyways. Treehouse Christian Learning Center was assessed $89,162 in impact fees. $29,868 of that were from road impact fees. To put that in perspective, the 7-Eleven on 663 was assessed less than $10,000 in road impact fees because there's not a surge at one point in time of the day. People are just kind of coming and going all day. They're not coming and going during peak traffic times like in the morning and then the evening, not during rush hours. So childcare facilities by default typically get higher road impact fees than say a lawyer's office or um, a mom and pop business in the middle of town that's only open eight to five. These, they, the construction of Treehouse Christian Learning Center was approved in September of 2019 and construction started in 2020. Because of the effect that the pandemic has had on construction costs, Treehouse Christian Learning Center now feels that they can no longer afford to absorb these impact fees. So they they approached 4B for a grant. And this grant, like I said, is uh, only available to areas that have less than so many people. We will exceed that when the 2020 census is certified. So what's my take on it? Justin Kaufman had a really good point at the meeting. He said, you know, this is a nonprofit. This isn't a for-profit industry and our community board partners do a really good job of vetting this stuff. They provide a service to by offering 30 jobs to Midlothian residents. They offer scholarships to single uh, parents, foster and adoptive parents, as well as just regular parents in, in, in town. And as a mother, I see that request all the time on Facebook. People are looking for quality childcare without a wait list, and it's pretty difficult to find in Midlothian. And the fact of the matter is that some of these wait lists aren't weeks long, they're months long. And the need is very real in Midlothian. As we grow and we, if we're going to continue to be a family friendly community, that need's gonna grow even further with our community. We can't, and we can't call ourselves a small business friendly and family friendly community if we offer these types of rebates, grants, tax abatements, to large enterprises, but when they're available to small nonprofits that service our community in so many other ways, we tell we tell them no. Ted Miller, place three, questioned if there was a real need for childcare. Um, if there was, he questioned why entrepreneurs hadn't stepped up and tried to open one as a for-profit and just paid the impact fees. And when challenged by Clark if they would meet our building standards and be able to pay our impact fees. Ted said, well, there's plenty of room on 875 in the county for people to be able to do that. Walter Dara, place two, affirmed that running a business is hard. And if somebody thinks that anybody can just step up and do it, then they should do it themselves. And I agree with that. Childcare 
is difficult. It's regulated by the state and the amount of licenses and liabilities that go into it take a very special calling. And if we have somebody stepping up that's willing to do that and offer that service to 80 families, then we need to be able to support them. Walter went on to say that, you know, childcare is a shortage in the Metroplex, much less Midlothian, and families and families and businesses will choose to build elsewhere if we can't offer basic quality of life services because we just didn't seize the opportunity. So those are two very juxtaposed uh, opinions. We've got Ted who thinks that the business should absorb it and Walter who believes that the child care is hard to come by and is very much a need in this community and I agree with Walter as a mom I, like I said I see that every day we have a a business that is not only a nonprofit, so nobody's pockets are getting lined we have a um, business that is offering a service to 80 families we have a business that is employing 30 families and adding $600,000 in wages to our community. No, like I said, nobody's pockets are getting lined. This is the very reason why the 4B board was developed to enrich our quality of life. This grant really seemed like a slam dunk. And that's why I wanted to sit here and talk to, to you guys about it. Because like I said, as a mom, as a resident, as somebody that is actively involved, this seemed like something that that just needed to happen, and I'm glad it did.